Hi YouTube family, my name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are in our 1899 abandoned home and our job tonight is to try to tackle a lot of grime that is on this fireplace. Our ultimate goal is to try to restore this and not paint it. I saw your comments, you're like, don't paint the fireplace. It is actually a marble fireplace, not wood. So the suggestion to strip the wood, stain it, and then clear coat it isn't going to work. We need to see if we can salvage this really disgusting stained marble in order to not paint this. Let's try to tackle this job. Right now what we're doing is we are trying to decide to paint or not to paint the fireplace. And I'm leaning towards trying to restore it if possible, but I know that my overall vision is to not have this red burgundy with the black trim. I really don't like the color. And so I'm going to quickly, before I do any final decisions, try to buff out this marble to make it look a little bit better. So I have baking soda, some gloves, warm water, and what I've read online is that I can shine up this marble by using a DIY kind of scrub, lightly going to buff this and let it dry and then wipe it all off. First, we just did the outside here. We haven't done the bottom yet though. We need to compare it to the top, the outside part to see if the more like dusty part is a little bit better than the other part. I'm trying to restore it because I know if I paint it, I might regret it, but I also might regret not painting it. So I feel like I'm going to restore it the best I can, get it as clean as I possibly can, complete the rest of the project in the room, look at it, stare at it, obsess over it for a little while, and then see at the end what I want to do. But I really want to try to give it as much of the benefit of the doubt as I can, although I really don't like the color. Yeah, no, I think... It's just, I'm not a red person. Never yeah. in the history of anything I've ever done have I been like, this needs to be red. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that it's red, I really don't like it. I know that it has a little bit of an orange undertone. There's some orangey color here. And then once I got a few of these areas, even just a little bit cleaned, I can see that there is a little bit of like a bluish sort of seafoam color, especially on this side, I can see it pulling out. Yeah, you can really see there's a nice clean spot there. <laughs> There's one. I can't get the stains <laughs> off the rest of it. So I've tried the baking soda and water as suggested online. Yeah. I've tried a vinegar and water. I've tried just literally Lysol and cleaner. Right. And so now I'm going to try a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and see. So this has been sort of the baking soda, all the other trials. And this start, I haven't done anything at all to. So let's see. Oh, Ooh. gross. <laughs> So disgusting. Is that 1899 dirt? <laughs> oh, gross. Oh my gosh. You should bottle that up. That's ancient debris. Look at the difference. Oh, wow. I'm really liking that. Though. Okay, this baking soda has nothing on this thing. <laughs> Look at the cracks. There's white cracks on the fireplace that we couldn't even see before. So I just did this whole area, but look at here. You can't see oh, really any at all. That's gorgeous. I wonder. Hey, you stay on your side. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, okay, I'll keep my side. My side looks better. You go ahead and scrub that side. All right, you want to change? <laughs> You're going to win because, look, at, I've already used almost my whole eraser. <laughs> No. I just put fresh water and the water is so gross. Yeah. Oh my god. So much gross. 122 years worth. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be pretty grimy too. I'm gonna watch you for 122 years. <laughs> We're gonna have to get more of these sponges because they work. Oh yeah. These... Look at your sponge though, after you do one sec. Oh, gross. I know, I'm just... <laughs> it's so gross. Mine's crumbling. I don't want to look at it. Oh, it is so neat with the scummy <laughs> water. I just <laughs> Sorry. Are we having a water fight? No. <laughs>
we just gave up doing late night tile <laughs> hammering with the crowbar and the hammer. And we're eating pepperettes <laughs> and cheese cubes. The struggle is real. Uh, we've been working for the last couple of hours scrubbing this fireplace and it doesn't seem to matter how many passes over that we scrub it with doesn't matter what type of scrubbing agent the water is just as dirty <laughs> i don't know if this is what marbles normally like because we've never had anything like a marble fireplace or if it literally is 122 years old of grime but the water is disgusting every single pass over we just keep dumping the bucket and getting more warm water so we're taking a little snack break. As you can see from outside, it's super late. I think we're gonna give up for tonight. I'm gonna update you and show you what this looks like. But what I'm finding is it doesn't matter really how many times we've cleaned it, as soon as it's wet from being clean, the marble actually looks beautiful. But then once it dries, it looks really white, dirty, and cloudy. And that's actually once we get all the residue from us actually cleaning it off. So I'm not really sure, but we're gonna keep working. If you have any tips, on that then let me know because I really want to get this super clean for sure if I'm going to give it a chance to not paint over this. Okay we're going to update you guys tomorrow on the rest of the progress and our supplies to actually do the rest of our demo should show up in the morning. All right so I think we're done for the evening. What I want to do now is just wait and hope that some of this cloudiness actually kind of goes away and we have a pile of this old tile here all scraped off we need to get a little closer in here, but my worry was getting too close to the fireplace just because I was getting tired with that hammer and crowbar there. But I think tomorrow we're gonna get a little bit closer, get this cleaned up, hopefully do a few more Passover. Good morning, YouTube family. So this morning I came down to check out the progress of the drying of the marble last night. And you can see that we have some really streaky, this is what happens. And now when we touch it, it goes this white paste kind of all over the fireplace. And so it's kind of unfortunate, but today I'm going to do quite a lot more scrubbing on this. The water is absolutely disgusting. And this is from several passes. I would say probably at least 20 or 30 Passovers of the fireplace. And so every single time we wipe it, this is the remainder of what we're getting. Um, and then my ultimate goal for the rest of the day today is to get the rest of this chipped up here. It only goes to the center back right straight across here. So not all the way back, but I do want to get that chipped out. The reason I didn't really salvage this tile is because I do have an idea for it, but basically it is so old that no matter how gentle I was, the tile was breaking mid tile. So it wasn't actually able to salvage all of it in full pieces, but I do have several so we do have a DIY project that I want to do with a lot of this tile so I'm not going to discard it don't worry I'm going to use it for something but this is the progress right now on the marble so let me know what you think if it changed your opinion about painting or not now that you've seen it all scrubbed and then better light you can really see <laughs> just really how rough this is I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being part of our journey here. We are going to be tackling a lot of demolition in this room today. Just waiting for some supplies to show up. The sun is shining. We're gonna get the windows all open. We're gonna mask up and rip out a bunch of this plaster. Today is a big day in the renovation of this room. Hit subscribe if you're new to our channel. I love you and I will see you tomorrow.